As my sheikh says, what does Islam say about narcissists from your point of view? A narcissist, if I understand correctly, is a person who is fond of himself. And this is stage one, not in cancer, in what is worse than cancer, before arrogance, which is stage four. So arrogance defined by the Prophet is to be looking down at people, resenting them, and rejecting the truth when it comes to you. This is the definition of arrogance, al-kibr. When the Prophet was asked about a person liking to have a beautiful suit or a beautiful set of clothes and a beautiful pair of shoes, would that be arrogance? He said, no, Allah is beautiful and Allah loves beauty. So there's a thin line between being narcissist and being beautiful. Being beautiful, being handsome, good looking, having a good body, working out and loving it because it is something nice and beautiful is good. Being narcissist usually is accompanied by an internal feeling of thinking that I'm above everyone else. I'm smarter than everyone else. I am more eloquent. I am more intelligent. I know everything when everyone else doesn't. And everyone knows that this comes with the territory. When the knowledge is superficial, when the knowledge is not genuine, it seems to me that I am the most knowledgeable person. And when you talk to me, I say, what do you know? What did you study? I've done so much uh, studies and research. I know. I've been there. I've done that. Now, narcissism is when this is an internal feeling that someone like me with 33 years of experience under my belt in giving da'wah and so many conferences and lectures and questions answered blah 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 inside I feel that hmm, I must have a position very high and elite with Allah I am the answer to the world's problems I know more than anybody else this is the silent killer yet it is not showing clearly to the people which makes it dangerous but curable once it comes out of my mouth and I start looking down at people and I start saying I did my research I know I have studied I have done I have this I ha it's all I then this becomes arrogance when you look down at people when you start thinking highly of yourself this is why a true believer is always humble even if he was the king where he has the power, the authority, the wealth, everything is under his fingertips. Yet when he's addressed, he sees himself as small as a small insect, fearing what Allah will do to him, knowing his own shortcomings. When people come to him, oh, you are the scholar of the world, you are the most knowledgeable person. Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Bas, and I'm talking about real scholars, may Allah have mercy in his soul. In an interview, the presenter was saying that no one has ever seen such a man with such knowledge, and he is the remedy for all illnesses, and he is the light in all these darknesses. Allah has blessed us with him. Allah has this. 
he interrupted him and he said I pray to Allah that Allah forgives you for the evil that you had said it is not appropriate at all to say these things about people you don't know who I truly am and in humbleness and in humility he started his lecture refusing people to say this Ibn Athaymeen once in a public lecture it's found one said while introducing him and today we are having a guest who is beyond introduction no need to introduce him so the sheikh said wait 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 nobody is not in need to be introduced Allah is the only one who is well known others are in need to be introduced to know about them and such praise is not permissible how do you praise a human being by saying without any need of introduction who has no need to, to uh, uh, be introduced so this is true knowledge so narcissism as I said is stage one and the destruction comes when it reaches stage four which is arrogance may Allah Azza wa Jal protect us because even if the whole world come and praises me and says Sheikh Asim is this Sheikh Asim is that yeah I would be happy but deep down inside no this is one of shaitan's traps all what they're saying is not true because I know myself I know my flaws I know my shortcomings and I know definitely that if sins were to have an odor nobody would be able to sit next to me so a true believer knows himself whether people criticize him or praise him and this is a sign of sincerity when someone comes and says wow what a beautiful lecture sheikh that was what I needed to, li to listen to what, what I needed to hear it doesn't matter to me alhamdulillah I praise Allah it's Allah's guidance that I was able to give it and if somebody comes and criticizes sheikh what is this I could have said it better this is a waste of time you've wasted 40 minutes of our time on a lecture that has no value it didn't get us close to Allah I wouldn't feel sad or depressed I would shrug my shoulders and say I did my best Allah is the only one who I'm away, uh, waiting for praise and reward from not from you and not from him so this would help you a lot in curing such an illness may Allah protect us all